your eyes don't deceive you. What you're seeing and hearing is a landline telephone working over all three mains wiring. It's all to do with that white box on the side, which is a one-for-all SV1500 wireless phone line extender. This is the receiver and transmitter is plugged in upstairs. Today we're going to check out what's inside, but first let's check out its drawbacks. First of all, as you've just heard, it's not a particularly powerful ring circuit. I tried it on two phones and they're both pretty cool. And using ADSL to sort of provide the signal on the wire makes no difference. Secondly, interference. Just like when you're on the bus minding your own business, watching Netflix on your iPad, and someone gets on and sits next to you who doesn't seem to have had a wash all week, it's a noticeable harm. Thirdly, it doesn't like surge protectors, or main filters, or RCDs. It certainly doesn't like running on a separate wiring circuit, not in this house at least. I put the transmitter and receiver on the skin ring final circuit here. However, if I move the receiver to a different circuit and try to make a call. As you can hear, sometimes you'll just get a chirp and no dial tone. Just like power line adapters, your mileage may vary, so it's best to try before you buy. Here are the transmitter and receiver units, or base unit and extension unit if you like, with a combined power factor of about 0 0.58, 0 0.59 and a power draw of about 7.2 watts for the pair together. Apart from the labelling they appear identical with dual two-wire RJ11 jacks on both. On the transmitter this allows pass through to a second phone, on the receiver it lets you use two phones or a phone and a fax or a modem. There's a button on the side which allows them to be paired up so no one else can eavesdrop on your calls. To pair them the button on the transmitter is pressed which brings that light on Then the one on the receiver. A single flash, and that's the two linked. Not much else to see on the outside. Let's pop them open. Oh wow, there's, uh, there's quite a bit of stuff in there. And quite a bit of stuff in there as well. And I think the bit that's common to both of them here is this. This, I believe, is how the signal gets put onto the AC wiring. This ferrite is acting as a small transformer. And both units have an internal branding of Eurojack Plus. This is the base. And this is the extension. And there's even more on the back. Now I was going to trace the schematics out, and in fact I did start. But they're not circuits I'll be able to get my head round as they delve into RF and all sorts of stuff like that. I can do a quick rundown of the chips used though. U1 is a Phonex 320043. It says on the back of the case that it used technology by Phonex Broadband Corp, so that makes sense, it'll be one of their custom chips. U2 is a Motorola MC33110D low voltage commander for compressing and expanding the dynamic range of an audio signal, to quote the data sheet. U5 and U6 are TL074C low noise JFET quad op amps, giving 8 op amps in total. U8 is a Philips TDA7021T FM radio circuit. I told you it went into RF stuff. And that means that that corner of the board is guaranteed to baffle me, even if I miraculously work out what the rest does. On the bottom of the board is U11, which is a Motorola MC3403D quad low power op amp. Yet more op amps. And that's your lot. On the receiver, U2 is a Phonex 320044, counterpart to the 320043 on the base. U5 is another Motorola MC33110D low voltage compander. U6 is another Motorola MC3403D quad low power op amp. U7 is another STTL074C low noise JFET quad op amp. U8 is another Philips TDA7021T FM radio circuit. No other ICs on the top of the board and not on the bottom either. This one does look a little simpler but it does have an electrolytic rated at 250 volts with the two transformer secondaries run separately instead of in parallel like on the base unit. So expect this is a higher voltage output to do with generating line voltage and that feeble ring we heard at the start of the video. 
Anyway, that's all I've got for you today. I'll salvage a few more bits off these and then they're off to the recycling centre. Thanks for watching.